Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to kill a dragon. Hey guys, right, today I'm going to show you how to kill a dragon. And weirdly enough, it's really, really easy. The easiest way of doing it is with a, well, the lowest that we can do is with a crossbow, uh, a wooden crossbow at that. And the minimum requirements is to have two in attack and two in agility. And that is it for level wise. Resource-wise, you'll need 36 iron ingots, 32 feathers, 3 bits of wool, 4 planks, 2 logs, and 8 sticks. Um, you only actually need about half of the stuff, and you won't need all of this, but this is just in case um, accuracy and misses and stuff like that. This will give you 2 wooden crossbows, and I killed a tier 3 dragon a second ago, and this is how much durability I had left on the wooden crossbow so it's really close to getting one or two so what we need to do is we need to make 36 uh, 32 um, iron nuggets so we make 36 here and what we can do is you chuck 32 in the middle 32 feathers in this corner and then the 32 iron ingots at the top and that will give us four crossbow bolts so that is enough for one that was up here that was enough for two stacks of crossbow bolts you should only need a stack and about 20 but this is just in case you need some extra or you miss a few bits now the next thing you need to do is make yourself a wooden crossbow to do that we're going to make two so the first thing we're going to do is we want to make two bows so we can turn our white wool into string we make our two bows like a so Gives us our two bows, which requires two agility. Next thing we're doing is putting our um, we're putting our two sticks here and two additional string next to it, and that turns the sticks into handles. And we've now got two handles. So we put our bow in the top left corner here. We put our string diagonally next ones down. We have our wooden um, log in the middle and two planks in the bottom left and top right corner with our handle in the bottom right. And this gives us a crossbow. And we can do that again to get our second one. Like so. So now I've got two crossbow bolts. I have four nuggets left over, which we don't really need. And I've got this stuff from the last time. I just wanted to show you how much I used. I had another stack, so I used a stack and uh, 17. So let's just check these guys out. So we know this is all I've got to kill a dragon. Let's move to our dragon. Oh, one last thing as well. You want to push escape, go to options, and change the video settings. Render distance to 16 chunks. That gives you vision of the dragon without the dragon having vision of you. And that is the key part of killing the dragon. Okay, for this demonstration, I'm on top of a battle tower. And the dragon, you might not be able to see it, is just behind... Oh no, it's not, it's right here. And what you want to do is just aim just a little bit above its head. And if it flashes red, that's how you know you've hit it. So I didn't hit it that time. And a little flash of red. So the main way of doing this, so normally these dragons are in the sky and you can place yourself on a hill without being seen. So the dragon can't actually see me from this distance, but if it came closer, that's when I need to hide. So I'd either need to hide or um, run away a little bit and come back. But you don't really want to do this with much gear on you because if you do have loads of gear on you and the dragon does see you, you don't manage to hide, the dragon will kill you and potentially um, you'll lose some of your stuff. So you want to go with the bare million stuff. I would also recommend having a bedroll. And because I don't have a bedroll and this isn't my um show mode let's just turn it um time set day just turn it back to day because i want to just show how much um durability it uses and how easy it is to kill a dragon and all honestly you could probably do this really early on it requires two levels of agility two levels in attack the hardest part to find is probably actually going to be the feathers um you need 32 feathers 
Iron's not going to be too bad if you uh, if you find a village nice and early. And the rest of it, I think, is pretty simple. If you do this with a higher strength crossbow, it's going to take um, less durability and you will only need one crossbow. The other thing as well is the enchantments on your crossbow matter. So if you had power 4 or advanced power 4, it's going to take less bolts for you to kill the dragon. Okay, so now we've lost sight of that. Oh. I'm hoping it's going to take flight. Have we killed it already? Right, it's going to hurt. Should have probably given myself some uh, feather falling armor for this. But the whole the whole key point of this is repositioning. Oh wait, I don't want to waste that. Goodbye, zombie. I'm just going to ignore you. As you see, I'm probably too close now. So at the moment, I've used 32 arrows. I know that. Look, the dragon's right there. So I am now definitely too close. Yep. And this is what happens if you get too close. Okay. So I picked up the stuff and I've repositioned to another position. And as you can see, this time I'm going to try and stay outside of its sight. And this is the way you want to do it. You want to just do sneak peeks. And if you see it's going to sort of move off or fly, you want to try and avoid it. So it's just gone round here down to the river. But I don't really have a... Here we go. Come round. But the problem is now it's quite likely to see me. Especially now it's taken off. I need to run. It doesn't matter if the dragon goes outside of render distance. But you just want to... Try and not get seen by it. Like so. Just have to be really careful. There we go. Killed. That took us... a stack and 47 arrows and we used half of the durability on a wooden crossbow and that was a takedown a I'm pretty sure this is going to be a stage 3 this was a stage 3 fire dragon and there we go easy as pie and we only died once, and that was to show that you need to sort of keep the distance away from the dragon. So as long as you keep your distance away, and the render distance is at 16, you can hit it without it seeing you. And that's how you do it. I hope this uh, helps kill your first dragon, and uh, well, I'll see you next time. <laughs>